OJ OJ Simpson or or Orenthal James passed away yesterday. Um, he was very po he was a very polarizing figure. Um, he was loved and hated by by different people. It depends on who you talk to. Um, for me, OJ Simpson was like one of those first guys that, as a black athlete, that was on TV making a lot of money doing the commercials. He was one of the greatest football players of all time. And he also was, me at a young age, at about 18, 19 years old, back in 1994, um, when they, they had the so-called trial of the century. His trial of the century was a black man accused of killing a white woman and a white man where we've been getting killed in this country for, for over 400 years. But um, he was found not guilty. And that was the first time I had ever seen in my life like uh, the justice system rule something in favor of a black person. Now, a lot of black people um, was upset with OJ because they felt like he sold out or they felt like he ran to the other side. But I'll deal with that later in the video. But I want y'all to listen to O when he talked about his health issues before he passed away. Check this out. Hey, x World, it's me, yours truly. Boy, what a beautiful day it is here in Las Vegas. Even though the game is indoors, it wouldn't have mattered. But still, it's nice to have a beautiful day like this. Hey, let me take a moment to say thank you to all the people who reached out to me. Uh... Uh, my health is good. I mean, obviously, I'm dealing with some issues, uh, but hey, I think I'm just about over it, and I'll be uh, back on that golf course, hopefully, in a couple of weeks. But it was very nice hearing from you and hearing those good, positive words. Thank you. Now, as far as the game goes, uh, obviously, my prediction and it's not hope. I'm basing it on who's on the field. Uh, I see a, a 24 to 20 win by the 49ers. <laughs> and that, as I said, that's not hope. I'm basing that on uh, the quality of the players that are on the football field. So who's going to be MVP? Prody, I mean Purdy, or uh, McCaffrey, of course if KC wins, it'll probably be uh, Mahomes. But I'm predicting number 19. And I'm not talking about Johnny Unitas. <laughs> Uh, in any event, well, we got a few more hours and we'll know. Uh, please, I hope you're with friends, uh, the ones who are not going to the game. And, hey, just it, it should be a great game because all the great players that are involved. Hey, God bless. Take care. And I hope your team win uh, if that your team is the 49ers. <laughs> God bless. Take care. So in his death, there's a lot of people putting tweets out. Uh, there's a lot of people supporting and love uh, and showing their love for OJ of all races. But then there's people of all races actually talking down on him. But one of these people was uh, Caitlyn Jenner. Uh, he he went on to see he or she. I don't know the, these pronouns, whatever you're supposed to call him. But he went on he went on to say good riddance. But Shannon Sharp and Ocho took umbrage with what he said, and they went on to uh, their nightcap show. And really went in on uh, uh, th that Caitlyn Jenner. Check this out. Let's look at what uh, Shannon Sharp and Chad Ocho Cinco had to say. Caitlyn Jenner tweeted. Let's take a look at the tweet. Do we have it up? We're going to have it up, Ash. Sorry for the, the delay, but Caitlyn Jenner mm -hmm. um, tweeted very tacky, very distasteful. Yes. Basically, what it said was good riddance. No matter what you think of someone, uh, mm -hmm. uh, Ocho, mm -hmm. you don't celebrate someone's death. You, you never do that. You never do you that. Never, you, it's, one, it's one thing about God. God don't play. You don't celebrate nobody's death. Even if you despise that person based on personal issues y'all might have gone through. Now, you have to remember. Now, OJ, murder, the case, he was acquitted. But obviously, acquitted. he was tried in the, in, uh, in the civil case. Mm-hmm. Now, also, again, God don't like ugly. If I'm not mistaken, brother, I mean, sister, sister, brother, Caitlyn Jenner also mm -hmm. had an issue. 2015, fatal car accident. Killed somebody. What? Uh, no, on. Hold on. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, no hey. you didn't. Yeah, no, don't, she don't. didn't. Yeah. Now, everything in the OJ, we, people allegedly, he mm -hmm. killed Nicole Brown Simpson yeah. yes, sir. and Ronald Goldman. Yes, sir. He went on trial. Mm -hmm. 12 men and women, mm -hmm. a jury of his peers, mm -hmm. says we don't believe he did it. Yes, sir. Beyond a reasonable doubt. Right. They acquitted him. He went to trial on the civil charges. 
he was convicted. So you mean to tell me there's no denying that at the hands of Caitlyn Jenner, mm -hmm. someone lost their life? Mm, yes, so sir. how would she feel? Now she did she I don't if I'm not mistaken I don't recall her spending any not one day in jail. Yes sir. But you yeah. you you say good riddance you happy yeah. for the death. You know God don't like my grandma used to always say when I was a little boy Ocho mm -hmm. God don't like ugly. No. Sometimes he don't like pretty. Yeah. You and you never be know, careful. You, you got to be careful because you never know. You never know your time is up. Every time we born, we all come with an expiration date. Now, we Absolutely. don't know what that day is. But what you don't want to do is you don't want to speed it up because the tongue is yeah. powerful. If you're going to celebrate somebody else. Listen, if you're going to celebrate somebody else's death, now you got to be careful. And God, God, God can show you better than he can tell you. Yes. Absolutely. And then here we go. So, Kate and Jenner wants to say good riddance, but... What about uh what about what about that woman uh Kim Howe back in 2015 when you rear-ended her and she passed away and you had to pay 800 something thousand dollars uh as a settlement to the family because you took out this woman and took her away from her family. Man, look, these people these people are crazy, man. They're crazy. Um we got a chance to see OJ um the more humorous side of OJ cuz I mean, like I said I remember OJ in the naked gun I remember him on um, the rent a car commercials, and I remember him on all all those things. You know, I was too young to remember him when he when he was still married to the black woman and he had the black children. My, I remember him when he was married to uh, Nicole Simpson, and um, you know when he went over to the other side, and which got him into trouble that he's that that he you know he he got into that we know about. But um, he was one of the greatest football players of all time. He was one of the first ones to actually get uh, sponsors, like him and the doc, him and Dr. J. They was like top dogs at that time. Uh, but Cameron and Mace, and Mace in particular, um, they they humanized uh, OJ uh, uh, again by bringing him more to the It Is What It Is show, and we got a chance to see him talk sports, laugh, joke, and and basically just to get to see uh, OJ and how he is as a person. So let's look at what. Uh, Cameron and Mace had to say about their um, relationship with uh, O.J. Simpson, who they call um, Uncle O. Check this out. First started, his 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 manager called me and was like, uh, "Yeah, O.J. says you guys use the word nigga a lot, man." <laughs> and I was like, yeah. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I told him. <laughs> <laughs> and I told, and, he, and then his manager was like, "Yo, no, you know, I told him that's 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 the way it is. They don't mean no harm, my guy. It's like, yo, that's just the way you know it is. He's like, yeah, you know, he's like, don't get it messed up. I'm I'm down with that, but you know, I just don't be liking us to look bad publicly. He's like, I don't think they mean it no type of way. So by the time we week seven or eight or whatever week it was, and he was like, yo." Light skinned niggas zip up that nigga suit too, and I'm like, oh, he's home. <laughs> oh, <the nigga. laughs> <You just> <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, nigga came home. Oh, it's home at this point. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, uh, and besides that, man, on the show, I don't care what nobody say. He was probably top three football analyst this past season because it wasn't. He doesn't only have person. He didn't only have personality. He really knew the game. Yeah. And that's why I was a great suggestion that makes bring him on. It was no problem every uh, Monday morning when we did the show that we didn't think he was going to get his home, get it, have his homework, know his facts, know every game, um, and have the right analytics along with his opinion on it. You know what I'm saying? And besides the show, you know. I used to go fuck with OJ, like off the show when there wasn't no show. I go to the bar, meet him. We'll go to lunch, and people on the you know where we stay at loved O. You know what I'm saying? They really, really loved OJ. So excellence, whether it was growing up looking at, whether it was Denzel, whether it was Magic Johnson, um, who else? And and OJ, he would be one of those figures that that let us know that. As young black men, we could do some powerful things. Before you get into all the other stuff, that's that was my initial understanding of OJ. I remember him, you know, the Hertz commercial, all of those type of things. They're like images in my mind of an all-American superstar. That's what initially came to my mind. 
And another thing that was so powerful when I talk about imagery, because what I remember of OJ before he comes to this show is that he was a part of the first time I seen the justice system go in our favor. That I would I would say that. Even is is no slight against what what was on the table, but that's what that's what is reminded to me that it was the first time I I saw anybody of a brown skin complexion get a favorable decision when the whole media was going against it. So that's what I remember, you know, and I know that's like a touchy subject. Um, blessings to their family, prayers to their family, as well as to the Simpsons, because when you think of it, they're all one family. Even though it's something catastrophic that that took place, it's one family. And a lot of times in, in our families, you know, things happen within that family that make people not act as a family. But when you think about it, they have children, different things that that's what I was reminded of, that he was a part of that that family. Now, I'll say this, man. Amongst, amongst our group, I would say, and what I always say in my live streams, as black people live in America, we're all traumatized at some point by something. It's impossible to be uh, a black American and not be traumatized. The education system is off. Um, we have their their names. Um, we don't we don't speak our, our languages. Everything has been stolen from us. We we're operating um, just messed up. So you have a lot of us in different places. You have people that sell out. You have people that think that they, that they don't sell out, but they do because they complain about the system every day, but you support it every single day. You don't work with your own people. So you can be mad at OJ for not being with his black family and being with this white woman, but then I will ask you out there, how many black people have you worked with to bring about the change in the community? What are you doing in your community? Are you only worried about yourself? That's a sellout. Only worrying about yourself. If Dr. King, uh, Megan Evers, uh, Mary Bethune McLeod, Benjamin Hooks, so many of these people, Martin Delaney, Octavius Valentine, Cato, I can go on and on. If they only thought about themselves, we wouldn't be in a position, we, we wouldn't have the, the uh, opportunities that we have today. They were thinking futuristic. So all of us are sellouts in some way, especially for all the things that our ancestors uh, done and done for us. So on this day, I'm not going to disrespect OJ because I understand the trauma that we go through. A lot of times, man, being black hurt for a lot of people, man. And then a lot, uh, we're not all raised in the same places. We don't all have the same ideas of what we think blackness is. And that's something that I had to learn when I came to YouTube. Me coming from Philadelphia, I grew up in one of the blackest cities in America. And I didn't grow up around white folks. So my idea of, about white folks may have been different from somebody living in California, especially Northern California. So I, I've learned that when coming to YouTube, I'm dealing with different black people from different places, different experiences. Now, within those experiences, we are still black. And America will let you know we're, we're still black. But our interpretation of the way we view white folks and the way we view the world may be different. And, and I might not like it, but it is what it is. That's why I did the, um, the video of the Coon character. And I did the video of, of um, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air where I said that that show was racist. The Carlton character and the Will Smith character were both racist. They were racist tropes. They, they're, they're not the true uh, uh, respectful identity of a so-called African-American or so-called black person. No, it's racist. But if you if you don't understand what you're watching, it's only going to confuse you. So when I look at OJ, um, he was found not guilty uh, in 19, uh, uh, 1995. But then in 1997, how can you be found not guilty but then be found guilty in the civil suit and have the, uh, order to pay the family $33 million? Then uh, he confronted, and was it 2008 or nine? He confronts the family and they find him guilty, uh, kidnapped, and they put him in jail all the way until 2017. So they was gonna get they was gonna get their just due and put him and put him and put him away anyway because white America was upset. But remember, he was found not guilty by the jury of his peers. He was found not guilty by a jury of his peers. That's who he was found not guilty by, and. A lot of people in the, in the W America are very upset. They hate OJ. But you have black people 
uh, even uh, OJ did it. No, man, shut up. Shut up. Uh, sometimes it's best to just keep your opinions to yourself, man. Who are you trying to impress? Who are you trying to prove? You ever notice how when things ha bad happen to us, a lot of those groups on that other side, they stay on cold. They know it's wrong or they know certain things. And this is the thing with, with us. We don't know if OJ did it or not. We don't know. We know that the jury said that he didn't do it. That he didn't do it. Now, we may not like him for when he said, I'm not black, I'm OJ. Yeah, of course. Of course. But I know being a black person in America that uh, a lot of us have trauma. And the idea of blackness is an idea of black power to a lot of black people. They say that they do. But in the communities we come from where you've been hurt by other black people, man, black people don't even love black people. So let's not be hypocrites. I've been talking about this for years online. You mad at OJ, but you don't even like your neighbor. You don't even like you don't even like black people for the most part. You only defend them when other non-blacks talk about black people. But your behavior and actions, you don't even like black people. That's part of our trauma, man. And that's our dilemma why we can't get out of the situations that we're in now. But on this day, I want to say rest in peace. Um, uh, my condolences go to his family and his children. And, you know, I pray that God make, make your grave spacious. Um, if you made it this far in, in the video, leave your comments in the comment section. Uh, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to Street Media TV. And any, any of you W folks that come in here talking your trash, just know that you got over 400 years of killing and harming our people. And most of you never went to trial for it. Never went to court for it. We just had to sit and watch you get away with it. So miss me with all the foolishness. Miss me with what happened to Reese Teller and what happened to Emmett Till and what happened to the Scott, Scottboro boys and what happened to uh, 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 Tulsa, Oklahoma and Rosewood. And I can go on and on. And, the Elaine Massacre. I can go on and 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 on. And you've gotten away with it. So don't come over here with your foolishness. But I'm going to cut this video short here. Leave your comments in the comment section. And remember, I love y'all to the next time. Peace.